Hello everyone, this is John DiMartino. I'm a coach and trainer at Keller Williams Realty in Coral Springs, Florida. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss paid for campaigns for your listings through the Keller Williams command platform. We'll do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to create an ad and how to publish it onto your social media profiles. Remember that Facebook has partnered exclusively with Keller Williams to provide our agents and our listings the absolute most exposure possible. They have fine-tuned all the algorithms and target audiences so that your ad will be seen by all the right people. Now, if this is your first time here, give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see other videos just like this one, and hit the bell icon to get notifications for when we publish new content. Ready? So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up our browser, and we're going to go to www.agent.kw.com, and this is going to bring us to the command homepage. When we get to the command homepage, we're going to click on this KW icon in the top left corner, which is going to open up the description of what each of these icons are, and we're going to click on the campaigns icon. And click on the campaigns icon, it's going to take us to the dashboard, which is going to show you some of the previous ads or previous performance that you've had on your other ads in the past, uh, as well as some other quick posts that you can use your social media posts as well. You also have the opportunity to create mass emails, direct mail, or social media posts. In this case, we're going to go on paid ads. From here, this is going to show us what your history of other previous ads that you've put and what the results of those were. Let's click on create campaign over in the top right. When we click Create Campaign, it's going to open up this box, which is going to tell, ask which one do we want to do. Do we want to do a Google ad? Do we want to do social media posts, a direct mail or mass email? Again, social ad, paid campaign. From here, we're going to put uh, a campaign name. I like to use uh, the address of the property that I'm, uh, that I'm listing. The next thing that you're going to do is select what is your goal? What is your desired outcome? What do you want to see happen from this particular ad? In this case, I'm going to be linking this ad to a new listing that we have. Put it out, push it out as a just listed campaign. So I'm going to click on advertise listings. The next thing we want to see is where do we want our cam our campaign to run? Do we want it to run on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of them or so forth? I like putting it on Facebook and on Instagram. So I'm just going to select check those two and create campaign. You are gonna have the opportunity to link this ad to a particular listing that's already in the KW, uh, Keller Williams listing service. So let's go ahead and search for this listing. Once we find the listing, we're gonna click select, and it's gonna bring over a lot of the information that we have in the KWLS, which is syndicated from your MLS, uh, but we're gonna bring over a lot of that information in here as well. You'll see that there are a few different details that you start with from the very top you just work your way all the way down so we already put the campaign name and the uh our goal or objective was to advertise listings so let's move on to the the next field we selected the listing from the kwls so we already have that selected in here the next thing we do is add text we're going to click the configure button now you'll see over here on the right side, this is gonna show you a preview of what your Facebook ad is going to look like so far. And you have the option to see what it looks like if you're looking at it from a web feed or if you're looking at it through a cell phone. We'll get an idea of what it actually looks like. And this is what you see is what you get. So as you change the information here, it's going to update everything over here onto the right side. Okay, so you're going to have your the main copy. This is going to be this information that's right here. Keep it short and sweet. Uh, put some uh, information in here. Remember, we only have 125 characters. Uh, oh, sorry, 250 characters. But if you do too much, it's going to cut it off, as you'll see right over here. It's not going to allow much more than much more than this. It did pull the information directly from the MLS. So I'm going to actually paste in just some other information uh, very condensed version of what I put in the MLS and again this isn't to give all the details of the property this is just to kind of whet the appetite of the person who's seeing the ad so that will encourage them to click into the ad and get more information next thing we can do is put in your headline now the headline uh, again you only have a hundred characters this is gonna be what's what appears right here just listed two bedroom home in Margate you have a hundred characters but if it's any more than 40 characters again it might be cut off as well the next option is 
your description. Now, you can do a couple different things. You can use, uh, you can shuffle through some of the uh, the suggested description call to action icons that's down here, notifications that's in here. And you can do that just by selecting the shuffle icon. And if you do see something that you like, you can use suggestion and I'll print it in here. Uh, I like to put in, you know, schedule a private tour with me today or click below for more details. And this is, like I said, this is what's going to be the call to action uh, for the person to actually click through the ad. So let's click save ad text. I'm going to move down to the next, the next field, which is to add media. Now it is going to pull the first picture that was on the MLS and it's going to use that as the default picture. Uh, you can leave it at one picture. I like to put two or three pictures. You can also put a video in here. Uh, I like putting in two or three pictures and it'll, it'll appear as a uh, carousel slideshow uh, on, on the ad itself. The way you do that is click on add more. You'll see the other pictures that were part of the listing. You select it and then you're going to crop the picture, save image, move on to the next one. You're not going to want to put all of the pictures that you have on here. Okay, you just want to have something that's going to show on this slideshow, as you can see right here. Once they click, once they click into the ad itself, it's going to show the rest of the pictures in there as well. Next, you're going to put your Market Center's logo. You can upload that right into here. We're going to save ad media next. When you're uploading pictures, uh, make sure that you're using high resolution photos. All right, now a lot of photographers will send you two copies of photos: photos that's used for uh, for web and photos that's used for print. Make sure that you're using uh, the high the high resolution photos that's going to show really really nicely on your computer on your laptop your iPad or your cell phone. The next field we're going to go down to is channel options. This is going to be the, the Facebook and Instagram ads. We're going to click configure, and you're gonna you, you should already have your Facebook personal or business page. Preferably you have a bit personal business page set up, uh, but you can have that already pre-populated in through settings. Okay, you can select the page that you want it, this ad to be linked directly to. The next thing is the call to action. You have two different options. You can either use the Facebook lead generation form, or you can have them go directly to the landing page where you, they can put in their own information at that time. Well, we all know that Facebook has just about all the information on everybody out there anyhow. So I like to use the Facebook lead generation form. It's going to give us the information that Facebook has on file for this for that particular person who clicks on that page. Next thing we're going to do is click on the call to action label and you can choose which one you want to use, whether it's learn more, sign up, apply now, learn more. What I like it's it's not non threatening. Uh, it, it's it's just going to just appear uh, right over here as learn more. They can click that and actually get directly to the landing page. If you have uh, your own website that you want to put in here for the destination URL for when they do click learn more, you could put that in here. If you're doing an app, an ad to promote your app, this is where you would put the, the link, the URL for your mobile app. Or if you've already created a separate landing page for the property, you can put that URL in here as well. Now we created a landing page for this listing. So that's what we're going to, we're going to do right now. 6755 Northwest 15th street. So I'm going to highlight that one, select it. It's pasted into here. You now have the opportunity to use Facebook ad targeting, or you can use your custom settings and you have two different options. What you can do, you can either target your database or target a custom audience. Facebook already has algorithms and target audiences already built in based on what the objective of your ad was. So you may not have to go and uh, change too much of this. What I like to do is put the city of where the closest area to that listing and search for put it an area for me about uh, 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 miles uh, out. And that's who's going to see this ad people that live or have been traveled within this area within a certain time frame. So let's go 15 miles out from Margate, Florida. This is another option that you can use to, to further narrow down your search. You can click add interest and you can search for some other interest that's in here. You can just leave it blank, not add any in here at all. Let's save Facebook and Instagram ads. And we're going to go down to the last field, which is duration and budget. You don't have to spend a lot of money on these ads in order to make it a an effective ad. Um, I like to do anywhere between a dollar to two dollars per day. I like to run campaigns anywhere from five to ten days. You do want to give it some time to saturate the market to get out there. Uh, if you're promoting an event like an open house or something like that, obviously there's a set end date. 
the day of the event. But when I'm doing a just listed or a just sold or even a coming soon campaign, I'm going to put it for about a week. So in this case, for as a just listed, I'm going to put it starting tomorrow and I'm going to put it for 10 days. You can select the specific date that you want there. Then you're going to put in what is your total budget for this ad. It's going to default for $30. This is going to be $30 for the entire campaign. So if it, daily per channel, remember per channel, in this case, we're using Facebook and Instagram. Daily, it's going to spend $1.50 per day per channel. I'm going to increase this for, increase this to $50. So $50 for the total campaign since I'm broadcasting it on two different platforms. Now you have the opportunity if you want to distribute evenly across both channels, meaning in this case, if I'm doing $50, I'm going to say $25 to Facebook or $25 and $25 to Instagram, right? Or what I prefer to do is I'm going to select use automatic payments for Facebook and Instagram. And what's going to happen here is Facebook is going to see which channel is starting to get more activity. And then it's going to spend more money on, on, that particular channel. So it becomes almost a little more smarter rather than just saying, yep, you have $25 for Instagram, $25 for Facebook. If Facebook is getting the the bulk and the lion's share of the clicks and the, uh, the, the leads and the contacts being entered there, it's going to put more money to Facebook. Once you have it, you save duration in your budget. And when you have everything that you're ready to go, I'd double check, make sure everything is the way you want. I'm always a fan of saving your ad as a draft if you have to go back. If you close this out, it's going to delete. And you're gonna to have to start all over. So either save draft or publish campaign. In this case, what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go ahead and publish this campaign right now. You can, you are gonna have a credit card that's on, you should have a credit card that's on file uh, with KW command, all right? Confirm that it's going to the right credit card and then create campaign. Once it goes through, it's going to be it's going to be marked as pending review. All ads that go to Facebook have to are going to go through a, a review. Once it does get approved, it's going to say approved, and the ad's going to start tomorrow, starting at midnight. And you just track any leads or clicks that you get. The leads are actually going to show up in your contacts uh, as a lead. So you are going to have to check the lead bu button in your contacts to see where those leads are. If you're starting to see that this ad is, starts performing really, really well, you like what you're seeing. Uh, you can always duplicate the campaign once this expires. You can create another campaign using the same uh, the same format that you already use. Remember, this is going to be a system. And if you have something that's working, rather you replicate what was already working than trying to reinvent the wheel every single time that you create a new ad. Earlier, I mentioned before submitting, clicking submit campaign. If you did have it saved in draft, you go back over to your paid ads to your dashboard. You'll see the one that you already started that says draft. You click the three dots on the right side and you can edit the campaign from here. If you decide this is an ad that you don't want to run or it's not applicable anymore, just go ahead and archive the campaign and it will be removed from your history. And that's how you create an ad for a just listed campaign if you're promoting one of your listings as a just listed campaign now again remember when i said when you start clicking when you create a campaign it's going to ask you what is your goal remember we spoke about in the beginning and here you had the opportunity we selected advertise listing but you do have the opportunity to advertise multiple listings or attract new listings attract talent if you're trying to grow your team or if you're trying to do any recruiting if you're trying to get your uh, your name and your business out there and create some more brand awareness or if you have an open house and you want to create some awareness around an event or if you're trying to create an ad specifically designed to attracting buyers this is where you do it just make sure that the messaging that you're putting in your description matches what your original objective was don't try to cast such a wide net where you're going to try to send one ad that's going to create recruits buyers sellers and promote your open house that you're having don't try to do all that in one ad target your ad and your description and your headlines and your call to action to what your stated goal or your original objective was and if you have to run multiple ads all around the same topic or around a different time or running multiple ads at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that also. You're doing just a better job getting your name, your business, and your services out there onto Facebook and Twitter and Instagram a little bit more and easier and faster. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up icon, and leave a comment.
I'd love to hear how your experiences have been while creating Facebook ads to promote your listings and your business through KW Command. Until next time, make it a great day, everyone.